Hi, I'm Joe Cuenco, marriage researcher and writer. Today we're going to be talking about how to keep that love alive. In particular, how to be affectionate in a relationship. Now this is key because affection in a relationship is going to be a key barometer of the health of that relationship. If there's no hugs or very little hugs, kisses, pats on the butt, that usually is an indicator that something's wrong in a relationship. So realistically, what needs to happen is that the fundamentals, love, trust, friendship, respect, communication, all those things have to be there before we really start building upon the affection in a relationship. Communication is a real key thing too, but not only listening, active listening, but also what type of communication are you having? Are you, are you sweet talking with your wife or sweet talking with your husband? Are you telling them about how important they are, how much you love them, and things of that nature? Treating each other very special is like they're the most important person in the world, doing the little things, getting a, a little thing like getting a cup of coffee in the morning or a martini at night. These are things that are barometers that you've got the relationship skills and the relationship is established to the point to where the next extension is going to be the affection. Then it's going to be your attitude. You know, do you, how well do you talk to one another? Do you talk nicely to one another? Again, use of kind words and just that sweet talk is very important. Then there's the physical aspect, the hugging, touching, making sure that, that the person feels good. Because affection, holding hands, opening up that door, that really feels good. It really is nice to receive that. It's, it's nice to have that as well as the, the verbal commitment, I love you or you're special to me. All these things build and they're all part of the, the puzzle that we, that we build together to cement the broader relationship. So pay attention to your spouse, make sure that you communicate, make sure that you pay attention to both the, the mental needs, emotional needs, and the physical aspect will come. And that's how we use affection to build our relationship. I'm Joe Cuenco. You can be married forever, marriedforever.com.